If you get on your treadmill and you find that it doesn't have any power, the first place I would start is simply by checking the outlet by grabbing a hair dryer or a lamp and plug it into the outlet. You know, it works just as good as a meter. You're going to know right away whether your outlet is hot. If it, if it is hot, then you know, you've ruled out your circuit breaker and you don't have to go downstairs and check the breaker. If it's not, then go check the breaker and that's probably it. Now, why, why the treadmill trip the breaker is something we've covered in previous videos and are probably will cover again. But what you're left with is something from the power entry of the treadmill in through the front wiring, through the switch, through the line filter, and into the lower board. So to trace our power, you can do this visually by inspecting the lower board for a power LED. And also, this one has a fan that turns on. So if we get that, then I know I've got power to this lower board, at least in. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's going out. Um, you know, the problem here is that the console has no power. So there are also, there are two LEDs on this board, I think, and one of them is probably your power supply to your upper. So you need to, you need to get your schematics for the lower board and figure out what these different LEDs mean but you can learn a lot on what's going on on your treadmill just by looking at these different LEDs because your console is run through this data cable by a direct current power supply that can be anywhere from 9 to say 12 volts and if there's something wrong with that transformer on this circuit board then you know you're not going to have any interface because you have no power to the console so if you but normally on a power loss, it is a burn up connector somewhere in the power entry. These inspect all of these connections. And if you see any of them that have turned brown or look like they've got hot, cut the end off and replace it, crimp a new one on. Okay, this happens quite often and it happens normally under a worn belt and deck condition because the treadmill has experienced an overcurrent condition and has not shut off and has heated up to the point that it has, you know, cooked some of the leads. I've also seen wiring get so hot that it breaks soldering joints, soldered joints loose on the circuit board. So I hope that helps.